Here are five secrets pros won't tell you about. And believe me, you wanna know all of them. First up, we have the new Trivella shot. How is it different than the traditional Trivella shot? As you can see on the screen, we are shooting from a weird angle. We are shooting from an opposite angle. If we are using a right footed player, then we are Trivella shooting from left side of the goal, which is the opposite, right? Compared to a traditional Trivella where you line up the player to the exact side, if he is right footed, he will go from the right side towards the far post. However, in the new Trivella shot, we will do it from the left side with the right footed player. What makes it so good? The reason that the players do not expect it. And in this angle, Hollett isn't lined up for a finish shot, neither is he lined up for a Trivella shot. He is just facing the goalkeeper straight. So when you pull the Trivella shot from here, the opponent gets caught off guard. Next up, we have the whipped plus German cross. German cross is back this year and it is best done with players who have the whipped plus crossing playstyle like Howards and Bacha. How do you perform it? It is pretty easy to perform. Just pay close attention. The first step is to click L1 and trigger one of your players to run idly your CM. Once that has been achieved, just focus on the player which is running. The moment he is on the last man, go with the cross and just either shoot it or go with a tap in. As you can see, it is also used at the pro level effectively. Like I said, it is not necessary to have the whipped plus playstyle, but if you have it, it is a bonus. He has triggered Valverde to run. The moment he is at the last man, 3.5 bars of power, boom, goal. Next up, we have the lobbed precision pass. Guys, this is absolutely game changing and I have not seen anyone use it against me. As you can see, we triggered our fullback to run and went with the lobbed precision pass, ended up scoring this goal. So how do you perform it? First, you have to trigger one of your fullbacks to run. Afterwards, you have to precisely aim the left stick because we are using a precision pass. The aiming is important. Once you have precisely aimed it, go with a fully powered cross the moment your player is on the last man and then either dink it in or go continue with the run depending on what your opponent does right this is absolutely game changing and it works against the very best players as well here i have told lorente to run look at the radar he is making the run right the opponent didn't see it but we are looking at it the moment he is at the last man that is when we are going with the r1 square lob pass right before you ask me why not l1 square guys because l1 square is way slower compared to r1 square when doing this glitch. Next up, we have something new that I learned from Tex and it is game changing. We are going to use a dead stop. What is a dead stop? A dead stop is when you stop without pressing any buttons on the controller. We don't use L1 to stop. We just take our hands off of the controller and the player slows down. Now we look at the way our opponent reacts. As you can see in this moment, he is coming at me. If he is coming at you, you will wait for the moment he gets close. When he gets close, you will turn and do a step over and he will be surprised. If he marks the pass, you will go with the step over. Otherwise, you will see how he reacts. Like you can see against Tex, his opponent thought he is going for the pass. What does Tex do? He stops, completely stops and makes the pass. Next up, we have this game changing kickoff glitch. Yes, kickoff is back, but for this to work, you need a player with the long ball play style. It can be the long ball plus or the long ball. Long ball plus is a benefit. So what you are going to do is basically you will trigger the player lock and then you will flick the right stick towards one of your wingers, either the left winger or the right winger. Once that has been done, you will run in the empty space. Make sure to make an overlapping run towards the fullback. Once you make that overlapping run, at the moment you are about to cross the fullback, go with a fully powered L1 triangle. If you think that is all, no, you are in for a surprise. You might have noticed already. I have been using a specific mechanic in all of these examples, be it the precision lob pass or the kickoff or any other example. What am I talking about? I am talking about the player lock. The player lock is absolutely deadly and game changing. You really have to master the player lock and it is the best move you will learn this year, be it the kickoff, precision lob passes, German crosses, lob passes. You can do everything with the player lock and you can manually position your players. That is the biggest plus. As you can see, I am running down the wing with Kylian Mbappe. What do I do? I cut the ball back and I pass it towards Hullet. 
Now I want to manually position my player towards the empty space. That wouldn't be possible without the player lock. So we click in both R3, L3, flick the right stick towards Rivaldo and go with the player lock. And mastering these mechanics will take you to the next rank. However, you want to master defending as well. So check this video out here.